Hadi hadi bir yarım sonra. Yine bunun. All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash. All right, with Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. All right, and the Makar Kodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And we also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And so I text all you brothers out there. And, um, you know, as you can see on the title, all right, it's uh, Salvation is Near. So stop being a bare minimum Israelite. All right. And um, pretty much before we started, we were talking about, you know, several different things. All right. You know, we were going into how, uh, you know, you got all these things happening in the world, all right. You have... um. Well, we were talking about Elon Musk, how he took over Twitter, right? And the real reason he took over is because he's going to start being a tyrant, all right? It, it, your freedom of speech is about to, you know, be hindered, mm -hmm. all right? You know, we were talking about that. You know, you, you see the things just in general going on in the world. You know, you, you know this whole uh, situation with um, Kanye and Kyrie Irving, you know, that's, that, that's set up, man, all right? That's set up because these, you know, small hatters, the 1948ers, the people that live in the state of Israel right now, all right, they're they're planning on making a move, man, all right, against the real men of the Lord, all right, and they're gonna, you know, say, look, we're justified in doing these things because, you know, you got people like Kanye West, Kyle Irving, promoting, you know, anti, you know, anti-Semitism, all right. Because look what's happening in the world. Like the brother mentioned, all of a sudden, now you're starting to see, you know, people attacking these, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, the, you know, the Jewish, you know, uh, community out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, you know, X, Y, Z things, man, have been happening to the community out of nowhere. And that's, you know, not done by coincidence. All right. These things aren't happening by coincidence. Because mm -hmm. you got to remember when he saw, you know, he makes his move, he, he, he plans these things. Mm -hmm. All right, he who he talks about he you know he's done a diligent search. All right, now this guy's not a fool, man. It says that he's what wiser than Daniel. Yeah. Oh, you know, so hey, this guy, he's uh, he, he's very smart, so to speak. Okay, he's sharp. All right, hey, it says what he's a cunning hunter, man. Okay, and you got to remember if you're hunting something, you can't necessarily just pop up and you know kill the you know the prey. You got to sneak up on it, set up you know booby traps. You gotta do all sorts of things in order to get that prey. You right. see? They they study who they're gonna get, and once they they know their moves, they they know how to get them. You know, and what they're doing with this whole thing, they're um, uh, basically you know trying to make Jake the new face of uh, yeah. you know anti sun You know, so if it is if it is set up or if it isn't, you know they're still using this uh, uh, situation so that they can do that. You know. But I, I got right here what you quoted. This is Ezekiel 28 and 3. It says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret secret that they can hide from thee. You know, so um, Esau Edom, you know, uh, uh, he, you know he's, he's the wicked. But guess what? He's wise in, in his wickedness. You know, so he's not just going to go out there and, and, and just, you know, do something. He's going to do it to where he could do something and still be justified for it. You know, and that's exactly uh, what's happening, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, his back is against the wall, you know. And hey, you got the prophets, the true men of the Lord out there bringing out this word night in, uh, day in and day out. You know, he has to come up against it somehow. And how is he going to do it? By having, you know, the Ye the Yees or the Kanye, I mean, it's like or the uh, Kyrie or so forth, <clears throat> say X, Y, and Z. So ultimately, you know, he can paint this narrative about anti-this and anti-that. But we all know it's, it's, it's targeting the prophets, you know. 
Mm. I got a quick one. It's yeah, uh, but if he said Kanye West, what a better person than him? Everybody mm -hmm. already thinks he's crazy. Yeah. Prior mm -hmm. to that, everybody knew he was he was like bug out. He'll tweak here and there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a perfect person to bring out what he's bringing out, so they could point the finger and say, look, these people are bugged out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This uh, Revelation chapter twelve. I started verse ten. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointing. And they, 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 all these things happening on earth is, is telltale signs that we're about to get delivered, right? It says, verse, uh, we'll continue on, it says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. It says, verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Now, verse 12, which is the point, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he have but a short time. So when he, he's having, uh, he's uh, he's working real subtly, you know, to uh, aim to get the men of the Lord, you know, to uh, demonize them and uh, get these people mind stirred up and think that, they're, that we're some uh, hateful people, you know. So he'd be just so-called justified and go, and coming down on us, you know. Yep. And with that all being said, since we know that this man, can you get that one again? Second Peter's. Mm, I got it right here. You know, since we know these things are about to happen, right? He's about to come down with that great wrath. Things are about to get serious. What man or person are you to be, man? Mm -hmm. All right. Or do you want to be that bare minimum Israelite? Okay. Just barely reading, barely making videos. You know, going to camp because you're told to go to camp, you know? No, oh, man, hey, you should be, you know, doing as much as you can for your how about you, all right? So you can get that covering in that day. Because mm -hmm. you got to remember, can you get, before you get that second Peter, get Revelation 22, and I think around about 12, you got to remember, all of us are going to get judged on our works. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put, you know, to the altar, man, all right? Whatever your sacrifice is, that's it, you know? Yeah, your sacrifice isn't going to um, change my sacrifice. My sacrifice isn't going to change this brother's sacrifice. We all got our own sacrifice on the altar right now, man. All right? You know, they, they this is between you and your how about Shemel and Shai. All right? So do you, you, do you want to just, you know, barely, you know, be barely, you know, doing stuff? Or do you want to be, you know, active? Constantly putting in that work. You know? I got, I got yeah, somebody here. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And what man is that? An Israelite man. You know? So if you're a so called Negro, Latino, and a Native American, and, uh, uh, um, you know, you may look like the other nations, but your, your, your uh, bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and your spirit resonates with these scriptures, hey, uh, uh, you're an Israelite, and this is what you, you have to do, man. You know, because, uh, because then what? Like the brother was saying, verse 14, For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment mm. with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So if you had, if you were just being nonchalant and you knew the Father's will, guess what? Hey, for him that uh, uh, that uh, know it to do good and do, do it do it not, to him it is sin. You know, so then those were, those were just because maybe you might necessarily have been doing evil, but because you weren't doing it at all, that's evil in itself. So the Lord is going to judge you based off that you know so what we got to do is you know to the best of our ability you know do uh, uh, the most for your Bashmi how shy especially these times man i get to it back here before i get that second to the three this first corinthians 15 and verse 58 it says therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for us yeah keep going it says for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord yeah, and going to that word abounding real quick, because one of the definitions um, should mean like overflowing, all right? You should be abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, this is all you should be doing, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you have your downtime where, you know, you let your hair down, so to speak. All right, hey, you may go play some pool. You may go, you know, play basketball, work out, maybe kick it with your lady, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kick it with your family, all right? But for the most part, this is what you should be doing. This is... Everyone that, that 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 knows you, so to speak, you know, they should be like, yeah, he's always reading his Bible. Mm -hmm. He's always going to church, you know. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. you tell me well, we're reported of good works, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, watching videos. That's what they should be. Uh, 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 that's what you should be known, you know, mm -hmm. for, man. 
All right. You know, the, not not the guy that's constantly at the club, at the party. You know, constantly at the casino, constantly. You know, doing whatever. You know, of this world. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, uh just that word is uh for abounding is G four zero five two, paracio. It says to exceed a fixed number of measure. Yeah, to exceed a fixed number of measure. So I'll say this right. In Gray Millstone, how many videos are we technically supposed to be doing? Doing right? I think we're in the camp. It's, bare, it's bare minimum three. Mm -hmm. But you should be wanting to do more, man. All right, four, yeah. five, six, mm -hmm. seven, whatever. You know. Mm -hmm. You know that's what you should be doing. Now, of course, you know, hey, if, if it's your um, your lot. Is to only you know be able to do three so be because every cause we were talking about this every brother has a different measure of faith they have different uh, a different um uh, uh, uh what's the word I'm looking abilities. for they have, let me say that again abilities abilities talents all right mm -hmm. you know certain brothers were given a heavy spirit some brothers were given you know more of a lighter spirit so to speak all right but point being though is you should try to do more mm -hmm. you know than you than you're just required of and I'll say this it's not just about doing videos hey why don't you go help that brother out. All right, maybe you have to go out of your way to help them out. So be it, right? Hey, maybe you instead of going to one class this week, you you went to two, or instead of one camp, you did two this week. You know, hey, there's like I said, it's just not uh, one aspect. You know, it's like different things you can do in this truth. Whatever it is, good. You know, go above and beyond, man. All right, what's up, man? Just keep reading this. It says uh, to be left over and above a certain number or measure. Uh, it says to abound, to overflow, to make abundant or excellent, you know. And hey, that's what the Lord is looking for. Hey, he, he's well delighted in someone that's hot and ready to hey, hey, not only do what's required, but do more. You oh, know, yeah, go, go, what, what they say, go beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, some, sometimes, hey, you know, if, if you fail or, you, you, you know, you get you catch yourself like in a slump, Never, just never get in that spirit where you're comfortable being in that slump. Where you're comfortable, no, keep on fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 miss. You only did th uh, three videos this week. Hey, next week, hey, okay, next week I'm you know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be on fire. Next week I'm gonna you know have that mentality. You keep telling yourself that you, eventually you're gonna end up turning those thoughts and all that into action. Mm -hmm. But what you never want to do is is stay in the spirit where you're just happy. All right, did three. I'm cool. Now I'm just now, now it's time for me to chill. No, nah, man. This uh, 2 Corinthians 9 and 6, it says, But this I say, he which soweth sparingly mm. shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. You know, so hey, the more work you put in, the more the Lord's going to reward you, you know. But hey, if you just give the Lord your bare minimum, hey, hey how the Lord going to look at that? You know, especially if you know you can do more. You yeah, know? and I'll say this, man. Look at the uh, situation with Cain and Abel, all right? Look at what happened before, you know, that whole event happened where Cain killed Abel. It's only a few verses, but really, you know, uh, analyze what was going on between Cain and Abel and the Lord, man. The Lord w was was pissed off with Cain's offering. And that's because, he, you know, it was a bare minimum offering. It was just like, oh, okay, here you go. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I got to do this. So here, here's, you know, here's this. Right, and Abel, hey, he he gave he gave his best, man. He was really about it. That's why they the, the Lord was pleased with uh, Abel's offering, right, and not Cain's. You know, and you see that's what's happening right now. All right, you see the Lord, he's happy with what the Israelites are doing. They were repenting, changing our ways. Mm -hmm. You know, putting off that old man, putting on the new man, returning unto the law, statutes, and commandments, returning unto our heritage. You know, returning unto the Lord. So he's happy with that, right? And then Esau is getting mad about that. That's why they're trying to stop all this, you know, um, you know, stop this movement, all right? You see? You know, and then eventually, since this guy can't stop it by, you know, putting um, restrictions on, you know, the web, all right? Restrictions on, you know, you know like this and that, you know? Yeah, this guy's just going to go nuts, man, and come down with that great wrath and get carnal. Because that's all he knows how to do. Ever since the time of, you know, the serpent in the garden, to, you know, uh, to, to Cain and Abel, all right, to Jacob and Esau, it's always been like that. This guy is just a, a carnal, 
you know, a, a scumbag, you know, a low life loser. But see, a, a carnality is not going to win at the end of the day. All right, it's spirituality. You know, that's what's going to win. The spirit, the spirit always triumphs. You know, uh, the, the, the carnal things. All right, you know. But you brothers got it. You got the scripture. Mm -hmm. And then if you got that, um, I think what's the yeah, scripture? Uh, called yeah, from? Second Peter three. Yeah, can you get that real quick? And then go ahead and that out. This Second Peter three. I'm gonna start at verse ten. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Exactly, and that's what's coming, man. But I'll say this, but before things get burned up, what's, what, what's coming too, man? You're going to have famines, cannibalism, rapes, home invasions, kidnappings, all right, murders. Strength, destruction, and chaos out here. That's what's coming to this world, man. And we don't want to be a part of that. Then then the final plague is the thermonuclear missiles. Alright? That fire, that second, uh, the second death, man. We don't want no part of that. So what we we're doing to the best of our ability, alright, is you know, trying to, you know, repent, you know, and get right and uh, 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 and put a, a proper offer offering to Yahweh Shem Shai, man. This is why we can't be a bare minimum Israelite, because the Lord's not looking for bare minimum, all right? Just getting by type of cats, man. Uh, a C-minus student, so to speak. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants that, 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 you know, that A-plus above and beyond individual, mm -hmm. all right? Because that's what really the, the, the uh, men of the Lord are. They're, they, they're, they're, they're not normal, okay? The Lord's not looking for just average Joes, man. Hey, if you want to do that, hey, go, go do something in this world, man. All right, go go start a business. Go 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 be an entrepreneur. All right, go go dribble a basketball. Go crack some jokes at a comedy club. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to be bare minimum, go do that, man. All right, because that that's real easy, actually. You know. I got you a got for you real quick. This First Timothy six and seventeen it says, "Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy." Verse 18, it says that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, you know, and that's what the big bros is going into, you know. The Lord is, a, he's not looking at, at what you, you know, your physical, you know, what you accomplish in the world. He's looking at your spiritual bank account. Are you rich in faith? Are you rich in uh, helping? Are you rich in uh, getting into them scriptures? You know, are you laboring, right? It says, verse 19, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. That they may lay hold on eternal life. And hey, that ultimately works to your favor. You see the Lord see you down here labor and putting in that work. Now when all the hell comes that the that we just, just do, the Lord is like, okay, nah, get him away from that. Psalms 91. He's been he's been he's my servant. He's been working for me. You know, you want to cash out on that uh spiritual currency, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I got on right here. Was mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nine and six. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men. Yet, if that wisdom be not with him, he shall be oh, nothing yes. regarded. Yes. Back to what the brother was saying. The Lord doesn't care if you're, you got the special talent and you know how to fucking, you know, play basketball, you know, fight, you know, any of that. You could be perfect in all those things, but if you don't have the wisdom, you have Hashem, you have hey, you're going to be nothing regarded. The yeah. Lord is not, is not looking to save those uh, 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 men, uh, like scripture says, not many wise, not many, you know, uh, are called, man. He's looking... He's looking to save those uh, uh, that are uh, of sincere heart. You know, uh, like like it says in uh, John the fourth chapter. You know, uh, see, he seeketh those that worship him in spirit and in truth. Right. You know, and and, and and how you do that is what uh, um, following the law, statutes, and commandments, doing his uh, uh, will to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. You know, sincerity, man. You know, because the brother was going into too how uh, it's not just doing. Okay, I, I gotta do a lesson, so I'm just gonna do a lesson just so I can say I have lessons done. No, you gotta do it. Your heart has to be in it. You know, your mind has to be in it. You gotta do it the right way. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, uh, 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 if, if you if you do a lesson with 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 sincerity, let's say it's five minutes, and somebody else does it an hour lesson, but it's not sincere. You, yours is more uh, uh, valid and it's more pleasing to Yahweh Bashimi Shai than the other guy, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. This second Peter chapter 3 and verse 11 It says seeing then that all these things Shall be dissolved 
what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yep. And since we know this is uh, coming down the pipeline, we have to have a separate, that's what holy means, separate conduct, meaning your, uh, 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 this is conversation, mm -hmm. which goes into your conduct. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be basic, man. Simple as that. You cannot be basic in this truth. Okay? You know? All right? You just can't be doing, you know, you can't be bare minimal. All right, I'll say this, man. Because even there's guys in the circumcision that aren't going to make it. And that's because they were being slothful. We always bring this out. You know, look at IUIC, right? You got thousands and thousands of members. How come there's not thousands and thousands of videos from those guys? Now, granted, you know, of course, you know, going back to what we were saying, Hey, everybody has a different, you know, lot, a, a, a different measure of faith, things like that. We understand it, but there should just be nonstop videos coming from these guys. Mm -hmm. You know, why is it only X, Y, Z, you know, people, you know? And that's because a lot of these guys are in cruise control, man. They know that they're an Israelite, all right? You know, they got a, you know, a purple T-shirt and some fringes, and they're happy about that. And they, you know, they're kicking it with their wife and their, and their, their, their family, and, you know, at the fucking, you know, uh, church session, you know what I'm saying? That's what they're, you know, happy, you know, they're, they're pleased with that. You know? Oh, um, uh, you know, hey, Judah! You know what I'm saying? Hey, that, that's what they're happy about. Right, well, the, the, the wicked uh, scribes and Pharisees, you know, um, they knew they were Israel. But what? That that wasn't enough. You know, the, the reason why they didn't get, uh, um, you know, called or accepted it's because what they they didn't have the they weren't sincere and they didn't have the works, you know, they were they they were you know a vain you know just doing the same shit these guys are doing you know oh, I know I'm an Israelite and that's it you know as long as I represent it you know I, I, I'm good no man it, it, it's it's more than that man the the Most High wants to see uh, action you have faith and it prove it by your actions. Mm -hmm. It's about putting in this work, man. Like like I said, it's it's much more than just doing videos. Now that's a part of it. But you gotta work, man. The Lord, the Lord requires these things. Mm -hmm. The Lord hates a slothful individual, you know. And I'm gonna get that. Uh, get what you got out. Mm -hmm. All right, quick one. This rock seven and fifteen. It says, "Hate not laborious work, oh. neither husbandry which the Most I have ordained." You know. So hey, you gotta hey, be willing to do this work and a hey, not only just do it, but hey, abound. You know, you can't be putting it off or treating it as just some. Oh man, I gotta go to work. Nah. You got to look forward to it and actually hey, put your best foot forward, you know? What's that scripture that talks about a uh, slothful man? Oh, I got it right here, so I found mm -hmm. it out. This is uh, Sirach 22 and 1. A slothful man is compared to, to a filthy stone. And you got to remember, it says in the book of, uh, I think, 1 Peter, it talks about how we're what? Lively stones, all right? You know, each part of uh, a uh, member... All right, the elect is a part of that uh, that spiritual temple, man. Okay, and they're not going to be filthy. All right, and then all and all those you know men that they you know that were called. Let's believe they put in work, man. Okay. Right here it is. All these uh, precious stones, and there's this filthy one. You're going to stand out like a sore thumb. You know the people are going to be like, man, like something's wrong with that with that one. Look look at it. Look how it's standing out. Well, all of them are all pretty, all nice. You know that that's how you are. You know when you're slothful, man. Yeah. And what, and what, what are what are people gonna say, right? Oh, we we need to replace that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, get it out of here. It's 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 not it's not fitting in right. Okay. Let's get let's get this one right there. That one looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in you know in its place. Okay. And see, you know, a lot of you guys that are you know doing things bare minimum, the Lord's about to uh, replace you, man. Remember, you're expendable, man. The Lord don't need you. You need the Lord. So you better be on top of your shit, man. Okay? So it says here, a slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. Alright? Basically, you're a piece of shit, man. Straight up, you're a piece of shit. Alright, if you're slothful. And it says, every man that takes it up will shake his hand. Alright, so no one wants to be around these things. Even in the world, man. Who wants to be around that, that lazy guy, you know, at the job? Or, you know, that one, you have a, a class project, right? There's five of you. 
four of you are busting your ass off, yeah. right? And you got the one guy that just got his feet kicked back up and he's like this. He's like, yep. I know my buddy's uh, gonna get on handle. No, bro. No one wants to be around that. All right? And then those, uh, usually what happens is them four guys that put in the work and then the one guy who didn't do shit, right? Them four guys usually go to the teacher and say, hey, man, you know, you know, Johnny over there hasn't been doing what he's, you know, he hasn't been doing what he's supposed to be, you know, doing. We've been picking up his slack. We don't think he deserves, all right, this A, all right? He didn't do anything to, you know, to get this A. We're the ones who did everything. And we had to put, uh, we, we had to put up, uh, um, we had, for lack of words, we had to do some OT, all right, in order to, you know, get his part finished. You know? And, they, and what happens? The teacher hears, hears about that, and they usually tell that, 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 that guy that was being a slacker, you know what, you're getting the ass, man. You didn't do anything. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of you guys. Yeah, you think you can, you know, basically make it because you're cool with XYZ brothers. No, bro. Just because you're cool with XYZ brothers doesn't mean that you're uh, uh, going to make it in this thing. So what if you're a cool cat? So what, man? Hey, the apostles say it, you know, all the time. They've met a bunch of cool cats, you know? And a lot of them are, you know, are here. Even within our camp, personally, we, we you know, this brother and I have been, you know, around for the same amount of time for the most part. And we've been around, quote, unquote, cool cats. But are they here? No, man. So that, hey, that cool, hey, being the cool guy, hey, doesn't mean you're going to, uh, Necessarily be a part of the elect, all right? Mm-hmm. Whatever you brothers got. Kind of, I got one. This is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. That says, Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know, and, and, the, and the Most High's uh, eyes are, what, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So he knows uh, everything. He knows what, you, what you've been doing, what you haven't been doing. If, if you've been doing it the right way, if you've been doing it the wrong way, he knows all of that. So... If you think you're just going to get by, you know, with, with doing the bare minimum, hey, the Most High is not mine. He's going to give you exactly what you deserve. You know, this you're only hurting yourself, you know? Exactly. And why, why, why wouldn't you want to be in overdrive right now? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We see all these things happening in this world. Why don't you want to be in overdrive? The Lord is really making moves right now. Mm-hmm. If you got spiritual eyes, if you're really, see, that's the thing. A lot of these guys aren't on their watch, right? The point being, if you're on your watch, you know that the Lord is making moves. Mm-hmm. You, you got this whole transhumanism getting pushed more and more. All right, the era of Karagma is about to uh, be implemented. World War Three mm-hmm. is uh, it's here. It's not even on the horizon. It's literally here. All right, it's just going to take that one event to really, like, you know, mm-hmm. get things moving. All right? Hey, Israel is mainstream. <laughs> hey, it's a mainstream topic in the, all around the world, man. Hey, yep. the, hey, that second half was nine. The Lord is making it absolutely known that this is the end. You know, so going back to that second Peter three, hey, seeing that this is the end, what man a person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, exactly, man. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I got a little more. This is uh, Galatians. Back to Galatians six, now verse eight. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, mm. but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. And like, I believe the brother brought it out. It says uh, the Most High. Um, uh, it's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. You know, yeah. he 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 he's gonna remember. So if if you never feel like ah oh, I've been doing too much or this is not, hey, you you can never go far enough, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta keep on doing, you keep on doing. You feel like you, you hey you you did, you know, uh, uh, more than three videos this week. Hey, try to do more than that next week. You know, so, uh, uh, always you know do more because at the end of the day the Lord's going to pay you back for everything that we've done everything we sacrificed man you know it says uh, and let us not be weary in well doing yep. for in due season we shall reap if we faint not man and you uh, 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 and if we're being slack uh, uh, guess what we're going it, to you're more prone to fall into the spirit of fainting you know what uh, you know, maybe this, this isn't it Maybe, you know, I should have, nah, man, you, you, you got to be on fire and stay on fire. You know, you, you feel, because you, you, sometimes, hey, we, we do have those weak moments, but guess what? That's where we have the brotherhood. When we, mm-hmm. when we have those weak moments, we go around the brothers so we could get back back online, you know? It says, uh, um, as we have, therefore, opportunity, 
Let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of a household of faith. And right now we have what? Liberty, which is what? Uh, 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 to be able to live as we should. You know, so uh, 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 let, seeing that we have that liberty, let's live as we should, man, and, and, and have those good works. You know, like the brother said, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's not even uh, about doing a lesson. It's, it's, you know, it's helping out our brother, you know, uh, uh, breaking bread. You know, uh, helping our brother financially with a ride or a, a, a place to stay, you, you know, some way, somehow. You know, those are all works towards Yahweh Bashmi Shai, man. Those are, all, the, uh, you doing all that builds up your spiritual bank account. You know, so uh, right now, seeing that the doors of mercy are closing, we got we to gotta be more on fire and more on point with that, you know. So that when when the Lord comes, we'll, hey, we'll have you know uh, uh, enough works for Him to be to come and say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." You know. Mm -hmm. And my water. Ow! Uh, Mommy, you're so, you're so. I got some. This uh First Corinthians nine and twenty four. It says, "Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain." You know, as the scriptures say, "Hey, put on as the elect." Hey, do what's necessary so that, so that, hey, the scripture say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Do what's necessary so that you and the Heavenly Father is on good terms and he can, hey, show you that salvation, you know. It says, verse 25, and every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible, right? Hey, 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 hey the reward, hey, the salvation, the deliverance, hey, hey, is worth it. You know, the scriptures speak about uh, this being a good, this, uh, this like the will, the good work, the will doing, so like it, you know. This is uh, verse 26. I therefore so run, not as not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway, you know. So, hey, hey do what's needful for salvation, man, you know. Mm hmm uh, I've got a scripture because you made a point. Um, I'm, um, but I'll, um, they you say something on the lines of like, uh, come on, go upstairs. Man, relax. Just go upstairs. Come on, it's enough, man. You said something on the lines that, you know, did this, uh, putting this work, work is like basically worth it, all right? Mm -hmm. It says here in uh, Romans 8, and I'm going to start at 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay? So the things that you're going through, it's actually really lightweight. Scriptures talk about it's what, a light affliction? Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, you know, you, you go through stuff. You know, it, you know, it was to say uh, that, um, that chastisement, mm -hmm. it's grievous, mm -hmm. you know? It's not, you know, basically pleasant, you know, right then and there. All right, but at the end of the day, you know, you're going to get rewarded greatly, man. Actually, you're going to get rewarded more, all right, than really what you deserve, man. You know, it says, um, let me see, give me one second. I think it's 9 and 13. Is it 7 and 13? Shit. But basically, man, we've been punished less than our iniquities deserve, man. You know, we're getting this, this great, um, oh, you know, here it is. This is um, Ezra 9 and 13. It says here, And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, seeing that thou, our power, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this. Look, man, we, we've been punished. We're getting punished less than what we, uh, we really deserve, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And the things that we're going through, it's not to be compared. You know, uh, compared to the, the glory that's about to come. You know, it, 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 look, this is all worth it at the end of the day, man. You know, hey, you losing some sleep here and there. You know, you, you, uh, you know, um, maybe not having the best, you know, job in the world. You having to work OT, you know, or you, you're not having a job or you're not having a woman. You, you having a woman and then you got problems with that and, and you dealing with issues in the brotherhood, so on and so forth. Whatever it is, hey, those aff afflictions, they... At the end of the day, man, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's worth it, man. It's worth you going through whatever the Lord puts in front of you. Because we're about to inherit the great, the, the greatest things, man. All right? We're about to get new bodies. The laws are going to be put in us. We're going to be 100% righteous. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're about to have the, 
the dominion over the earth, over the natural resources, mm -hmm. okay, over the galaxies. There's so much coming, man. Mm -hmm. So much coming. So all this is worth it. So what you you had like I said, you had to lose a little sleep because you had to go drop a brother off, you know, at his job that that's in the suburbs or something. So fucking what, man? So you, that was an hour out of your day. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, well, while you're dropping that brother off, you had a spiritual talk. You probably did a lesson. All right, you did a good deed for the brother. Now you you know what I'm saying? Now now you're spiritually charged up, man. You spiritually ate, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Like your brothers be thinking so damn fucking. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't think about the long term thing, things, man. They just they just think about the, the 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 now. Like, oh man, well, fuck, man. You know, I gotta wake or I gotta wake up early or I gotta stay up late and do all this. Oh man, I just wanna chill and kick it. Fuck, and, and, man. And, and you feel you feel a lot better. You know, you feel a whole lot better than than when you don't. When you don't, then you're like, fuck, damn, maybe I should have. You you over here like, damn, like, what if? But when you do it, even though you might feel weird or like, oh, man, I'm tired, like. When you do it, you, 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 you're never going to say, I regret it. You're asking, you know what, I'm glad I did that. You know what, I feel, I feel good. You know what, now, now you're, like the brother said, now, now your spirit is more apt, mm -hmm. you know? And the Lord pleased with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. You got something you should call it? No, no, no. You got something? Come on, I got something. Okay. This, uh, this, uh, Luke 21 and 34, it says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time... Your heart to be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. Uh, I'm gonna hit the next verse. It says, For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So, hey, hey seeing the times that we're in, hey, we can't be too concerned and carried away with fleshly things. You know, we gotta walk in the spirit and they be more into this word, more into a hey, pushing for the kingdom of heaven, having our mind hastening in the day of the Lord. We see verse 36, it says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And that's what it we'll boils down to. Eh? We're striving to uh, make our call and election sure, to eh, be pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, what it says in, uh, I believe, 2 Timothy, uh, no man that war. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start from the top one. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shaham Mashiach. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, it says, uh, the same commit thou to faithful men mm -hmm. who shall be able to teach others also. And in Romans, it says, how, like, how should they hear without a preacher? So like, you got to put that work in, man. Right, Prophesying, right. doing your lessons, hey, studying and show thyself approved, you know. And the scriptures uh, in the book of Sirach, the 33rd chapter, I think it's the 17th verse. It says, um, I didn't labor only for myself, mm -hmm. but for All those that, that seek wisdom, wisdom man. Yep. So this is not just about you, man. That's the thing, too. See, look, this society, you know, and this is really the ways of Esau is, you know, it's all about me, 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 you know, how I feel. All right. Did, 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 mm -hmm. did I, did I get, you know, above, you know, this person Did I, you know. You know, you know what, that's how Esau is, man. That's what he teaches the people. This is why this is a a very. Oh, what the scriptures talk about how this is a this place is going to be, you know, a, a place where uh, it's filled with lovers of themselves. Roughly mm -hmm. paraphrasing it, you know. It's all about the, you know, them, you know, themselves, man. And see, in our culture, it's not just about you. It's about the community, man. Mm -hmm. Your nation, your people. All right. And with that being said, you you gotta. Uh, uh, and that goes into sacrifice, and you got to do things that's going to make you uncomfortable. So you can help you, uh, you your brother out, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you know, we, we got people who are listening and learning right now. Mm -hmm. Who knows who, who's listening and learning? You know, what, what if they needed to hear this video mm -hmm. yeah. or whatever video that you make? Mm -hmm. it, it, it could be you know a small thing or you know a great thing. Whatever it is, man. They, it's a necessity. Mm -hmm. you know? How you conduct yeah. yourself as well. You know, yep. actually walking in the light to those that are without. Mm -hmm. No, and especially now, you know, the times that we're in, a lot of people are starting to look up who, who we are, what we're about, and all that. Hey, you know, so there's going to be a lot of new converts. So that means what? The, you know, you might be like, oh, well, this lesson might seem you know, too, too basic. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, 
the basics is always the best part. Go back. If you don't have nothing to talk about, the apostles, all the apostles say it all the time. Go back to the basics. Teach who Israel really is. Teach how we're not supposed to have lineups. Teach uh, 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 who who Esau Edom is. You know, all that e easy, simple uh, 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 lessons. You know, and and that that still counts as work. You don't always have to be all deep and all crazy and all. You know. Mm -hmm. No nah, man, just hey, it's all about doing the work, man. You'll you'll get a lot more, you know. Uh, uh, um, you you get a lot further doing, you know, uh, uh, lessons based on the basics than always trying to go deep and, and and not even you know holding yourself back from doing lessons, you know. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit more. It says uh, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Hamashiach. So you gotta endure hardness, man. As a good soldier. Hey, this is not going to be a, you know, smooth ride. It's going to be a bumpy one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, it says in Acts fourteen and twenty two. Before we get into the kingdom of heaven, that we, we got to go through much trials and tribulations. It is what it is, man. Okay. Deal with it. Enjoy it, man. Take it cheerfully. Whatever comes your way, mm -hmm. take it cheerfully. You know. Now, of course, hey, you know it doesn't feel good at that present moment. That chast, you know, mm -hmm. that chastisement. But at the end, it's going to yield that peaceable fruit, man. Yep. You know, you know, uh, you know, verse four, no man that war entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't get too attached to this world that you're in, man. Yep. All right. Hey, you, you, look, man, you might lose a, you, you, you know, your pops, your mom. All right. Your woman, your children. Okay. You may lose. Hey, cool. You're definitely going to lose that home, that business, mm -hmm. you know. All right, you're gonna lose the, your reputation in this world. Yeah. All right, so on and so forth. So what, man? It's all worth it at the end of the day. Cause mm -hmm. look, this world is passing away. All right, uh, quick too, man. Mm -hmm. The fashion of this world passed away quickly. Yeah. All right, this day things are speeding up, man. This, 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 we're we're not gonna be out here preaching for too much longer. We're not gonna be making these sit downs for too much longer. Mm -hmm. All right, this system is gonna continue to collapse. You think, hey. You, you you think going to the store is gonna be a um, you know just you know everyday thing, you know soon? Hey, they, 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 you you gonna be afraid to go to the goddamn store? Cause you might get robbed at you know at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be afraid to to, to go outside very soon because you you don't want to be kidnapped. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be somebody's next you know goddamn lunch. All right, this is the shit that's about that's about to come uh, uh come soon. Mm -hmm. So the hell with this place, man. Well, why would you even want anything in this place? Anyways, everything is tainted, man. Everything. All right? Your, your water's tainted. Your food's tainted. Your woman's tainted. Your parents are tainted. Yeah. All right? Everything is, is, is polluted, man. This place is not our rest. Micah 2 and 10, man. Okay? We're not supposed to feel comfortable in this place. We, we're we supposed to be crying to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. All right? Day and night. All right? All day, every day to get us out of this goddamn captivity. Because this is the worst place to be in. And the reason why is because we're under the uh, the rulership of the most wicked king right now. Alright? You should not feel uh, content and complacent here. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I got one right quick. Mm -hmm. It says, in Sirach 5 and 7, it says, Make no tearing to turn to Yahweh, and put not off from day to day. You know, so, don't, you know, oh, I'm just going to, you know, I'll do this, uh, Tomorrow, I could do this this day, I could do it that day. You know what? No, if, if you could do it now, do it now. You know, it says, For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You know, and when you actually want to get to it, it could be the day where the Lord comes. And now what? Now, now, now you, you, you can't do that thing, man. And that could have been the thing that could, hey, that could have sealed your salvation. You know? So we, we can't. Put it off today, uh, from day to day, man. We 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 gotta keep on striving until the Lord come. Hey, Yahweh Shai said, "What? Occupy until I come." <clears throat> you know, until until the Lord says, "That's it, no more." And, and then then that's what it'll be it, mm -hmm. and no more. But until then, we gotta keep on doing the work. You know, no matter what. They said in what James five it says, uh, "Not to say on the morrow, uh, the Lord will." You know, so while the day is, do they do what you can for the Lord? Yeah. You know, don't put <laughs> it off. Yep, every day, every day is, uh, you know, we, we should be, uh, the scriptures say what, that, that his mercies are renewed every morning. Mm -hmm. So if he's giving us mercies 
you know, uh, uh, every day, hey, we, you know, let's, we got to take that mercy and do the best that we can. You know, and like the scriptures say, uh, live as we should, you know, which is going the will of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Here's a quote, man, that um, they will send to me, right? Because this goes, uh, it links up with the scripture you just brought out, and that's Rock 5. It says here, one day or day one, you decide, all right? Are you going to put off the, the Lord, you know? Are you going to, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, tarry to turn to the Lord? Or are you just gonna say, you know, enough's enough. Let me mm -hmm. let me start doing it now. All right, then let me get to work now. And yeah, yeah you, you better get to work, cause who knows, man, when this stuff is gonna stop, man. Real talk, and it, it doesn't look like we got a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Even I'll even say this, even if it's a year or two, let's just hypothetically speak. Let's just say we got a little time, whatever. A couple years pass. You know how fast years go by, man. You know how fast. <laughs> You know, it just things seems like uh, twenty eight. The fucking the the C one nine just happened. You know, yeah. and it was literally two two about to be three years ago. Exactly, man. So uh, the time the time is going quickly, man. Mm -hmm. hey, before you know it, all hell's gonna, gonna be breaking loose, man. And a lot of you people, you, you're gonna be shit out of luck, man. Now you're gonna be wanting to talk to the, those guys, you know, you know, with the dresses on it. Uh, I need to talk to them, but black Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. Where are they? I think there was one in my complex. Let me go run. Oh, wait a minute. He just moved out about uh, six months ago. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Right. What Ooh. was the name? What was it? Damn. Oh, yeah. So uh, you, you better turn to the Lord now, man. You know? Uh, 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 you know, while well, you can. Mm -hmm. You got something? Or no? Can I, can I? This uh, 2 Timothy 4 and verse 5, it says, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, Ooh. do the work of the evangelist, make foolproof of thy ministry. You know, so hey, just going back to the general thing, general uh, point of the lesson, hey, put that work in. You know? That's right, man. That's pretty much it, right? Hey, you know, hopefully this was edifying, you know. Hey, brothers, man, look, and sisters too, we're almost out of this place. All right, so put in that work. Do what you can. Mm -hmm. they, the scriptures say don't uh, come to the Lord empty-handed. Mm -hmm. So do something, man. All right? Do something. Even if it's just the basic commandments. Mm -hmm. But then from there, you keep building and growing and getting better. You know? Mm -hmm. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Yep. You know? And deny yourself. And, you know, do the will of your house, your house, your It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be feel great uh, a lot of times. But, hey. We gotta do what we gotta do. At the end of the day, it's gonna be worth it. You know, the Most High. Um, you know, it says that he that he that uh, believe must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know, mm -hmm. and if we diligently and, we, and if we're diligently seeking Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh guess what? He is gonna reward you. Mm -hmm. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. You know. That's right. So you know, we're gonna end this lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying. And with that, we're going to, you know, end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honor to the apostles. And that was a great millstone of salutations to all you brothers out there. And Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.